Hello again everyone and welcome back. Um, today I have got for you a San Remu multi tool. Okay, basically it's a scissor knife. Um, just to cut to chase, tell you how it is, <laughs> as I do. Uh, comes in a basically reasonably presented box. This is my second unboxing, I guess, guys, um, in a sense. It got a bit bashed up, the packaging. I've got a couple of knives from AliExpress here. So you just got the basic, um, you know, product care and all that stuff and assurance warranty here, okay? Um, just, just, no messing about here. <laughs> get to the knife. Yes, yeah, I ain't got time for boxes a lot of the time. I just want to see the knife. There you go, beautiful. Right. Okay. Okay, unless you're collecting, okay, I guess. But I'm actually, I use my knives, so it doesn't really bother me. Anyway, there she is, guys. There she is. Not bad. First impressions, um, the overall fit and finish is pretty good, actually. You can see she, she's been well worked. Um, it's a CNC machine. This is all put together by machine, not by hand. You can see that. Maybe finished by hand. Anyway. Yeah, it's nice. I like that. She pulls quite nicely. Oh yeah, that's that's a nice look at that. <laughs> that's a nice drop point, isn't it? That's an elegant drop point. Now, what's that remind you of? It certainly reminds me of the Tech Tool, the Boca Tech Tool, um, or the Boca Atlas. Um, you know. Anyway, it is what it is. So, but very nice. This comes in um, steel, grey, copper, which I think they're out at the moment, um, out of stock, but they still got the black in, and this is what I've got. So I had to wait about four or five weeks for it, or six weeks, I forgot it's gone too quick. Um, but yeah, well worth it, guys. Anyway, blade centering is absolutely spot on. Um, you've got the spacer in the middle here, but you've got to ignore that. You've got to look at the scissors. It runs parallel with the scissors, and with the frame, the steel frame, uh, which just folded over steel frame, as you can see, uh, keeps cost down nice and simple. Okay, so absolutely spot on, as you should be. And no blade rub. Yeah, you can see that, not, a lot, not with something like this. All right, just check anyway, go through the process. But hey, look at that, that is a lovely drop point. It really, it really is nice. It's, I don't get, I don't tire of this one. I really don't. She's got a hollow grind. Uh, no, no blade play. And you've got a four, yeah, you've got a, I've got big hands. I've got a size nine, nine and a half hands. So you've got a full four finger grip. Um, yeah, it's quite, it's comfortable in the hand. Okay. Um, quite good egos actually, uh, ergos rather. <laughs> <laughs> ergos and no real hot spots i mean you don't want to be using it for a long time clearly um but you know it's edc right so it's, it's a couple of minutes each task so that's not a problem um the still as you can probably see i don't know if you can see that is 12 c27 which is a good still uh stainless and that sandvik still it's um you know she easy to maintain and sharpen and holds an edge still quite well. And you can see she's quite highly polished. She's like mirror finish, which helps resist corrosion, as you probably know, guys, yeah? Um, however, there is no half stop. So it's a cam action. There you go. Which, a bit like the Boca uh, Tech Tool, things like that, you know, but it can be a problem for some people, a bit of a deal breaker possibly. Not for me, not if you're used to slip joints. This will make a great gift knife as well, actually. Um, but yeah, it's got a very slick action. Very slick action. She breaks around uh, 4.5, I'd say. Yeah, 4.5. Um, she pulls about, I'd say, 4. Now... Not the liners, but the, there is a spacer. If you can probably see between the scissor and the knife, there is a spacer. And that spacer is brass colored. Um, it's probably colored steel, but let's just say brass for, for um, ease of purpose. And you've got a little backspacer there. Let's see, it's just folded over a frame, steel frame, 
open frame and you've got the spacer there. Okay. Um, what else? So you've got the lanyard hold, which is always handy, right? And inside here, let's just open this puppy up again. There you go. I can see it's quite clean as it should be. Um, it's got, it's well oiled. <laughs> you get quite, a, not that too much oil, but you got, you can feel that you can, there's a bit of oil um, inside, but not too much. Not like some of the brother knives where they're really, really oily, you know? Yeah, no, I like that. It's, it's really quite nice. Okay, so like we talked about the scales, there is none as such. It's just a steel frame, open steel frame. Um, however, the the hold on the frame is actually quite it's quite uh, sure in the hand. You know, you don't. It's not you're not going to slip. Um, but like I say, if you use it for long periods of time, it's still you might start sweating things like that. So there's no G10 or um, micarta, but you know what? It's a basic EDC, uh, which will work very well for that. Um, anyway, deep carry pocket clip. No, not deep carry. Uh, sub deep carry, if you will. But I suppose that's there so you can, pit, you can pinch it and pull it out. So that's, so you can imagine because it's not, it's a multi-tool as such, right? You've got the scissor as well. So you can literally just pull it out, um, out of your pocket. So that's quite, quite nice to have, especially you've got the lanyard. Um, it's not tip up, tip down, and it's non-reversible, okay? So again, that can be a bit of a problem for some people, but it is what it is, guys. Um, the fit and finish of this, though, let me tell you, the fit and finish is actually very nice. It really is. It's been well worked, well machined, should I say. Um, the pivots, it's quite nice, you know? Um, look at that. A bird's eye pivot almost. I like this. And for the price, which I'll tell you at the end, you're not going to believe the price of this little puppy. You are not going to believe it. So for me, I give the finish literally an excellent. It is, it is really, really good. Um, the ergos, like I said, are good um, because it's good in the hand. And there are there's no hot spots as such, but unless you use it for long periods of time, you know, um, you could don't want to be really doing any, you could do a draw cuts as well. So yeah, pre pretty good overall. Um, let's have a look. Is it sharp out of the box? We shall see. Absolutely. Beautiful. Is the, sh uh, let me see the scissors. These look pretty good. I I'd like to test these up next time against a, um, a sack knife or a broken knife, but yeah, bloody hell. It's really handy, guys. This is really, really good. They're dead sharp. Absolutely sharp. Really good. No, that's impressed me. That's really, really impressed me. It's got a little partner insignia on the, um, you know, on the front there, as you can see. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, all right. To, comparis to compare this knife, let's just get this off here. Okay. Um, I talked about the Boca earlier. There you go. <laughs> Put that down there. So look at that blade. Aren't they similar? Yeah. Some say the Boca Tech Tool or the Boca Atlas could be made in the same factory, allegedly. Who knows? Um, they look pretty similar, don't they? But anyway, it's a good comparison. They're both good tools. Um, both make good gift knives. And I have done... Um, a review as you may know on a tech tool uh, one if you want to go and see that just look on the uh, website okay or the uh, yeah the YouTube my YouTube site um, yeah no I like this guys I really do uh, the actual length for this knife let me see the cutting length or the um, overall length for the blade is about two and three eighths and the cutting uh, the, where the sharpening uh, choil is, rather, um, from there to there, it's about, ooh, I'd say two and five eighths. Two and five eighths is the actual cutting um, edge. Oh, sorry, uh, I meant to do something else as well, didn't I? So that's this. So hold on, just going back to that. So 
Um, I would say if that's two and seven eighths, that's about 7.2 uh, centimeters. Okay, and cutting edge uh, about is about 6.5 centimeters. The thickness is um, two millimeters, which is about 332s, if that makes sense. The overall length um, is going to be about, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, I'd say about six and five eighths, just over six and a half inches, which is a fair length, which is what, 16.5 centimeters. Um, closed is about, let's have a look. Um, more here, I'd say three and three quarters of an inch, and which is about 9.5, 9.6 centimeters. Okay, um, the weight of this knife is about, I mean, um, it's quite weighty, uh, 90, 90, hmm, 85, oh, under 80, so 79.8 grams. It's pretty good, um, or 2.8 ounces. Yeah, I mean, I know it's quite light, but it was it's actually light enough that it was. So that's pretty good. Um, my overall opinion on this knife. Okay, it's a very handy, well-made, lightweight, uh, compact uh, design, which feels good in the hand. Um, it's UK legal, and it's great value. And how much, guys? How much did I say? Well. 15 pounds guys 15 pounds that's you, you couldn't buy the materials to make it <laughs> it's that cheap it's ridiculous okay this makes for a great gifting tool like i said for a birthday especially or something like that um i would highly recommend this and you know normally i think i've got the Boca tech tool i gave it a 4.5 out of 5 because it didn't have the half stop because it didn't have, I think um, it didn't have reversible clip or um, tip up, tip down, something like that. You know, you had to have to go and see that review. Okay. However, I'd give this the same 4.5 generally speaking, but because it's a multi-tool and it also has the scissors, do you know what? I'd actually give this a five. I'd actually give this a five. It's that good. And it's cut really well, straight out of the box. It's a super slicer. So guys, there you go. Thanks for watching. Um, all the links are listed below. Uh, please show your support by giving us a like and by hitting the subscribe button as it helps the channel. So take care and see you next time. Cheers.